Hi everyone. Today we are going to discuss the topic is how to pass current record ID to flow and include flow in custom action. Okay. In this video, we are going to <coughs> create a flow which can accept the current record ID and we are going to include the same flow in a custom action on account object and we will create contact through that flow under that account. Let's see how we can do practically. So let's create a flow. To create a flow, you have to go to the flow builder. So in quick find, just type flow. Click on new flow and select screen flow to take the input. And here I'm taking one screen element for contact information and take text box. Okay, for one thing, first name and last name email okay so last name is required done so I'm going to take one more screen element for address information for collecting address information basically screen flow will be useful for collecting information screen by screen okay <coughs> and I am giving one text box state and text area for street information okay and to collect record ID from the current record when you include this flow in the in any object <coughs> in the custom action Okay, then what you have to do, go to manager, create a variable called record ID. This should be like record ID. To collect current record ID, you have to define a variable with the name record ID. Then it automatically gets the current record ID when you include this flow in the custom action and data type should be text and you have to select available for input then only it can take the current record id outside of this flow now now i defined a record id now this flow is ready to take current record id using that record id variable now we have one screen element for taking input of first name last name and address and state and street information and I am going to give I have to create a contact record then you have to take create records element new contact creation okay you have to create one record for now and we are using the variables or resources that means from screen elements only we are going to use values or we are going to collect values to contact object okay and now account ID this is the relationship field ID to create contact under that account so what you can take your record ID variable which can store current record ID and last name left side fields are object fields right side fields are flow variables or flow resources so last name and add field first name first name 
email address okay and then what else we have mailing state okay here state simply what else mailing street okay done we have successfully mapped all the flow variables to the contact object fields now once it is successfully created i want to display a message also contact creation status and i want to display text what is that success message so contact is successfully created name okay with the last name that is dynamically we are taking by using flow resource that is element i mean screen element so you can change the color also and if you want you can select this see it already changed now what you have to do you have to connect all these variables from start element to this screen element after that this one then it has to create contact record and then it has to you have to take from this small circles you have to okay like this save what is the thing contact creation flow save and activate okay now let's create a let's create a custom action on account object so account go to buttons and links and actions under the account object click on new action and action type is flow and included contact creation flow which we created if you have multiple flows you can get multiple flows here to select but as we have only one flow in our arc it came only one flow and you can give contact creation flow name for this now what we have to do we have created a custom action that is contact creation flow under that we have included flow that contact creation flow and to make it visible on record detail you have to add this custom actions under page layout of account let's do here page layout take mobile and lightning actions and here i am adding contact flow okay contact creation flow now let's go to an account here for now you have five contacts and let's go to this where is that contact creation flow see here you have contact creation flow so let's see see here okay i just refreshed now i have contact creation flow at the beginning itself right so if you click on this see it came first name last name email let's take this
okay and with the at test.com next test straight and test test city sorry test state and test street okay now see here contact is successfully created with the name even you can see color also here so contact is successfully created with the name vas and finish now you can see contacts increase to 6 and uh, you can see where the vas is the contact and uh, this is the email you can see full details also here let's see state and all see so state test state test state in the mailing address this is how you can pass um, current record id into flow say what we did just recap we created a flow and in the flow we created a variable with the name record id whenever you define a variable with the record id name with the name record id it automatically can take the current record id when you specify this flow in the custom action and we did all uh, necessary things for taking the inputs for last name first name and uh, uh, email address and other things by using screen elements and we took create element here to merge or to map contact fields and the flow elements along with the account id which is relationship field id on contact and then we are displaying the successful message by using screen element again this is how we can pass current record id and we can create contact by using flow through custom action okay cool all the best and these are all the references you can go through that and please subscribe to sales